In a bustling city where the streets hummed with the sounds of commerce and ambition, there lived a man named Lai Wai. Lai Wai was a shrewd businessman, always on the hunt for the next lucrative opportunity. He had amassed great wealth over the years, surrounded by lavish possessions and the admiration of many. Despite his wealth, Lai Wai found himself plagued by an insatiable desire for more. The pursuit of money consumed him, leaving little room for joy or contentment. He believed that the more money he acquired, the happier he would be. But as the days passed, he felt emptier than ever. One day, Lai Wai heard whispers of a wise old monk who lived atop a distant mountain. They said that this monk possessed a profound understanding of life's mysteries, including the elusive secret to true happiness. Intrigued, Lai Wai embarked on a journey to find the monk, hoping that he could unravel the knots of discontent within his heart. After days of travel, Lai Wai finally reached the remote mountain temple, nestled among the misty peaks. There, he met the serene and gentle monk, Master Cheng. The old monk welcomed him with a warm smile and invited him to sit in the temple's tranquil garden. Master Cheng, Lai Wai began, I have searched far and wide for happiness, but no matter how much wealth I accumulate, I cannot find it. Please, tell me the secret to true happiness. The old monk nodded, understanding the burden that wealth and desires could place on the human soul. Lai Wai, he replied, happiness is not found in the pursuit of material possessions or external accomplishments. True happiness lies within, in the acceptance of the present moment and the cultivation of a contented heart. Perplexed, Lai Wai asked, but how can I be content when there is always more to achieve and more money to make? Master Cheng smiled gently and shared a parable with Lai Wai. In a nearby village, there lived a poor man named Wai Lin. Despite his humble lifestyle, Wai Lin was always joyful and content. One day, a wealthy merchant from the city passed through the village and noticed Wai Lin's radiant smile. How can you be so happy with so little? The merchant asked. Wai Lin replied, I have all that I need, and I find joy in the simplest of things, the warmth of the sun, the song of the birds, and the company of loved ones. The merchant was intrigued and asked, but surely, you desire to have more. With great wealth, you could live in grandeur and indulge in endless pleasures. Wai Lin shook his head and said, True happiness is not found in material abundance, but in the richness of the heart. Possessions come and go, but contentment endures. As Master Cheng finished the parable, Lai Wai felt a stirring within his soul. He realized that his unquenchable desire for more money had blinded him to the beauty of life's simple joys. With tears in his eyes, he bowed to the wise old monk and said, Master Cheng, I understand now. Happiness cannot be bought with wealth. I must learn to appreciate what I have and find contentment within. From that day on, Lai Wai embraced a new way of living. He continued his business ventures, but with a newfound sense of balance and perspective. He donated a portion of his wealth to help those in need and found joy in the act of giving. With each passing day, his heart grew lighter, and he began to experience true happiness. Word of Lai Wai's transformation spread throughout the city and people marveled at the change in the once ambitious businessman. Many sought his counsel on matters of life and happiness, and Lai Wai, now a wiser and more compassionate man, gladly shared the teachings of Master Cheng. As the years went by, Lai Wai's wealth continued to grow, but he no longer clung to it as the source of his happiness. 
Instead, he used his wealth to create opportunities for others to find joy and fulfillment. And so, in the bustling city where money was once the measure of success, Lai Wai became known not for his riches but for the profound happiness that radiated from within. His life became a living testament to the ancient wisdom of Master Cheng, reminding all who encountered him that true happiness is not in the pursuit of money but in the cultivation of a contented heart.